Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Hayaxa Wi-Fi weather station. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this comes with a base station, wireless outdoor sensor, power adapter, and user manual it has Wi-Fi, weather forecast, temperature, humidity, alarm, and calendar. We have some more features on the back. You can pause and read through those. So let's get this open. So here's the wireless outdoor sensor. It has a display on it. There's a piece of plastic here. I'll peel that off. It has a foot on it so you can set it on a surface or it has a notch here so you can hang it from a screw or nail. And this takes two AA batteries. Here we have a power supply for the console. It outputs five volts at 1.2 amps. The cord length is around five foot. And here's the console. It has a kickstand here. Put that out. And here we have the manual. So let's take a little bit closer look at this. So we have a screen here. We have a snooze, looks like backlight button on the top. And on the side, we have the controls for different settings. On the back, we have a USB output charger so you can charge a phone or something with this. We have the power input. And then we have a place for two AA batteries. So I'm going to go rustle up some batteries and we'll get this tested out. Before we do that, we'll take a quick look at the manual. So this folds open kind of like a map. So the app you want to look for is the Hayaxa app in the Apple App Store or Google Play. So we're going to put the batteries in the outdoor sensor. We're going to plug in the weather station. We're going to pair the weather station to Wi-Fi. We'll configure the basic settings of time and date. We'll insert two batteries into the weather station. So those batteries will retain the memory. So when the Wi-Fi icon is flashing on the weather station, we'll go to the Hayaxa app and we'll add it to that. And I'll go over that. And this runs on 2.4 gigahertz. It does not run on 5. If it does not automatically enter pairing mode, press and hold the down so it'll be the fourth button down to enter pairing mode manually. So this can connect up to three sensors. So I think that's what we need to know to get it started. So let's get this going. I'll put the batteries in the sensor. Now I'm using rechargeable batteries, but I tend to like to use alkaline. This is just what I had close by. There's a button on here to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So we're currently at 74.3 degrees Fahrenheit, 61% humidity. So I'll plug this in. So that might take a minute for this to get connected up, but you want to keep them nearby each other. Let's get this set up in the app. So it says 23.3 degrees Celsius. Let me switch this back real quick to Celsius. And we have the same temperature there. Now, if you have another weather station around, it could accidentally get connected up to that sensor. So I like to put the batteries in this first, keep it super close so it pairs with the correct one. So I'm going to search for the Hayaxa app. Open it up. Would like to send notifications, I'll allow, I'll agree. It says login or sign up, so I'll sign up. So I'm going to create an account and I'll skip past the login. It says, hey, Axel would like to find and connect to devices on your local network, I'll say allow. And it has some privacy permissions, I'm going to uncheck those for now, I'll say go to app. It's requesting Bluetooth permissions. I don't know if this one needs Bluetooth, but I'll allow it for now. So I'll hit add device. So it has automatic pairing mode. So the Wi-Fi icon is flashing here, but it says the dot will flash in pairing mode. So I'll hold down that button for three seconds. This one right here. Okay, so now the little dot is flashing. It's kind of hard to see, but you have to trust me on that. So now in the app, it says discovered device. I'll hit add. I'll enter in my Wi-Fi credentials. I'll hit next. So now it's configuring the weather station. I'll hit done. And now we have the interface. So I'll hit unit conversion in the bottom here. I'll change it to Fahrenheit because that's what I'm used to. So that changes it on the console and in the app. So that's very nice. So this does support three temperature sensors. So if you add two more sensors, you can see those in the app here. We also have the forecast. So you can see that here. So today the high is forecast to be 102 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it has day plus one, day plus two, three, and four. So you have forecast for the current day and the next four days. On the left side here, we have the inside temperature and humidity. Then on the right side, we have the outside temperature and humidity. So right now it says 73 and 61. So I need to place this outside and we'll get an updated temperature there. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, so that might take a few minutes for that to update. In the meantime, I can put batteries in here. So now if I unplug this, it will obtain the memory. So if I plug this back in, 
it still has the current date, time, and settings. So let's look at the app a little more here. The bottom left, we have alarm setting. So here we can set an alarm. So I set that for just a few seconds from now, and you can set up to three alarms. We have temperature alert. So this is for the indoor temperature and the outdoor temperatures. So if you want to check if the temperature is going below freezing or something, you can do that here. So we can set a minimum and maximum temperature. Then we have graph curve. So with this, we can track the different temperatures for indoor and outdoor temperature and humidity. So that alarm's going off now. So I'll hit the, so I'll hit the snooze. I'm going to turn that alarm off before I forget. So over time, you can track things. There's even a download here, and it looks like you can mail this. So if you want to track temperature trends and such, you can use this to do that. Now this does have buttons on the side here. Looks like settings. So this has different brightness levels. So you can press this bottom button to change the brightness. And then the top is for the memory. So this is going to show you some different stats. It's really hard to get this to show on the camera here. Let's see. So you have your max, your min, and your regular. So let me turn the lights off so we can see this in the dark too. So this is very easy to see in person. It's just hard to capture on camera sometimes. So here you can see the display. As you can see, it's very vivid. It looks very nice, has nice colors on it. And here we have that forecast. Now this is not an LCD display like a tablet would have or something, but it looks a lot like it. So that's the Hayax, a Wi-Fi weather station. I really like the functionality of this. It takes a basic weather station that gives you indoor and outdoor temperature and humidity, and then ups the game a little bit by giving it Wi-Fi capabilities and having the forecast on there. So at a glance, you can see what the high and low is for the day, and then you can also see the sun and precipitation and such. Having the app capabilities gives it a whole level of capabilities with doing things like tracking the weather. It also makes it easy to configure, so it automatically sets the time over the Wi-Fi. And as you can see, to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit, I just hit a button in the app. So the icons on the forecast are pretty straightforward, but it does have a chart in the instructions that give a deeper description of what the icons mean. So you can also use the buttons on the side to change the settings too. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.